What's going on you little yuppies? My name is Rue399 or you can just call me Rue and today we are playing some more Grand Theft Auto 4. I apologise for not having any Call of Duty on this channel for a little while but for some reason I've become addicted to this game for over the last week I guess. Uh, I haven't really uploaded very much Call of Duty at all uh, for, a, for a while but I'm on a, a week's holiday off of school um, this week so that's th this weekend and next week you know it, that makes sense doesn't it yeah. So I should be able to get on Call of Duty and record some stuff for you guys. So for the next couple of minutes you are going to be chatted to about the map size of Grand Theft Auto 5. Now I am in no way specially informed, I'm no way um, in cahoots with Rockstar or anything like that. Um, I am simply an outsider giving my view on what I would like to see in the game uh, and what I would like to, uh, or what I'd, uh, yeah, what I'd, uh, what I'd find amazing to be in this game. Now, anything I say isn't fact; it's just speculation and stuff. And I want to hear your guys' opinions on this as well. So, anyway, the map size. There have been several rumors going about the internet, especially like on the Grand Theft Auto uh, fan sites about uh, this uh, supposed journalist who have uh, or magazine writer or whatever who um, who has tested the game for about half an hour and I, I can't remember whether or not this was true or not but from what he was saying it was like the map is about you know it took about 15 minutes to go from one side of the map to the other and you know it was immensely detailed and all that so whether that's true or not I want to give you my opinions on whether or not that would be a good move. Now, having a giant map has several good sides, but it also has several downsides as well. And I feel as if the the, the disadvantages of having a giant map aren't as uh, beneficial to have, and they kind of slow down the the good sides of it. And having a huge map is good. It's all right. It, I mean, it's an amazing thing to be able to sort of be in this completely immersive world. Um, meaning that you can just go on for ages and you know, almost get lost in this map, and that is, is a good thing. You know, it opens up an awful lot of uh, scope for a storyline. There's all all kinds of stuff you can go with that. But at the same time, we are still only on Xbox 360. We're still only on the PS3. We haven't got a next generation of consoles, and having a giant map with a lot of detail on. Uh, would mean maybe even not even be able to make it on the Xbox 360. Having a map which is giant with not very much detail on is kind of doable. You should be able to make a huge map with very little detail on whatsoever. But Rockstar aren't looking for that, are they? Rockstar want to be able to give you the most um, sort of realistic uh, experience that they can, and you know they want to get you involved. And here's the thing: I heard about this a while back, reading a, a magazine of some kind. Um, a, a, really, a game, a video game, is just the best representation of the the, the the developer's mind. I expect if they wanted to, you know, if they had the equipment and the uh, the the sort of computer power to create a game which looked like real life, I'm sure they would. Think of Skyrim. Somebody has got a giant imagination, and if they could make it as realistic as possible, they would. So. In my eyes, I think having a smaller map for the next Grand Theft Auto would be good. I'm quite happy with GTA 4's map size. Then again, I look at LA Noir and think that is an amazing map. Then again, there weren't so much detail in the map itself. I don't know. I would like to hear your guys' opinions on this. What do you think would be the best option um, for Grand Theft Auto 5? A, a large map with not very much detail, or a smaller map with quite a bit more detail and uh, sort of more compact areas? Or would you like. Um, I guess Grand Theft Auto 4 did this, where you have. Uh, a couple of islands, one of which is quite built up, one of it is quite suburban, uh, you know, you know what I mean, like up in uh, Algonquin there's a, you know, a huge amount of uh, buildings and stuff where it's quite city-like, but if you go up over to the Bronx or Bowen or wherever it's called, it's quite uh, sort of not as busy. Anyway, guys, leave your opinions in the comment section below, I know this isn't going to change anything about the game when it comes out, but it, get, it's, it kind of builds up your excitement, it builds up your anticipation for the game and, and wanting it to come out even more. So as I said, leave your comments in the comment section below. I may have a bit of Call of Duty coming out soon. Let me know if you'd like to see more of this. 
at Grand Theft Auto Chat, and if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, you can. I'd appreciate that very much indeed. And my other channel, which has a lot of Grand Theft Auto and Battlefield going on at the moment, is in the description as well. So be sure to check those two out, guys. Leave a like rating on this video if you enjoyed it, and share it with a couple of the GTA channels. As I said, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you have a very good Saturday, and I shall see you all later. I'm signing out.